With professional teams in 18 different esports titles and a ton of content creators, Team Liquid is one of the biggest esports organizations on the planet. They've gotten into Rocket League esports all the way back in 2020, but have only had significant results since acquiring two new players, Oski and Atau, both young and incredibly mechanically skilled players. Oski and Atau joined Team Liquid in February of 2022, the same month that they would both turn 15 years old, which is the minimum required age to compete in RLCS events. The third player on the team, who joined a couple of months earlier, is a Chronic, also a very mechanical player who has a bit more of a defensive playstyle, and along with Coach Xper, they started their RLCS journey. The first RLCS tournament the new Team Liquid squad played was the closed qualifier for the third and last Winter Regional of the 2021-22 season. And this tournament, well, didn't go exactly to plan. They didn't make it into the main event and had to wait more than two months before they could compete in RLCS again. This time however, they came a bit more prepared and managed to clinch the main event by just barely winning a game 5 in overtime against 0-0 Nation. Team Liquid's first main event with the new team went something like this. Winning from Evil Geniuses, losing to Vitality, winning from Dignitas and losing again to Carmine Corp. In the end, they placed 7 to 8th, which wasn't that bad at all considering that to this point, they only had very minimal experience in the RCS. Liquid also managed to make the main event of the second regional this split by placing 4th in the close qualifier. They came into the regional as 13th seed and had to go up against Evil Geniuses, who are 4th seed. This matchup however turned out to be pretty one-sided with Liquid losing only one game in OT. The second series against Dignitas went pretty much the same way, with Liquid also only losing one game. The next day, upper bracket semi-finals against the very scary Moist Esports with Rice, Joyo and Vatira. The casters saw things looking bleak for Team Liquid. Vatira losing that ball, you see a Chronic diving in on Joyo. Nice touch from Oski will beat it around Joyo, now Rise. Blocked out by Atau. Oh, Chronic, Chronic shot, it's good! Putting another shot on net is Rise. It seemed like he was gonna go for the give and go attempt. Here comes Atau. This is a big opportunity, a huge breakaway, a 50 50. Even oh, bigger, what? he stays on the goal line. Twitch chat 80% predicting the victory for Boys Esports. The desk predicting a oh, sweep. But right now, we see Team Liquid doing all the beating. The underdog, Team Liquid. Can they do it? This would be a historic moment, yeah. especially for them. A sweep against Moist Esports in a best of seven, crazy. A perfect sweep against one of the best offenses that we've ever seen, even crazier, James. And now they're looking to oh, hold the on. lead off the backboard. Oski, he finds it. The double tap, the man can't miss. On defense, he's putting in work, and on offense, he's putting in that same amount. Oski is the knight in shining armor for Team Liquid. Defending the fortress, now going on the all-out assault. Final 10 seconds. I don't think they've got enough time, James. This has been one heck of a series. Unbelievable from Team Liquid. The perfect sweep. Moist Esports for the upset. And they're moving on to the upper finals. Despite all of this, Team Liquid showed us a brilliant defensive masterclass and took the win over Moist with a perfect sweep. The rest of the tournament played out with Team BDS winning pretty easily from Team Liquid in the upper bracket final. Liquid winning game 7 against Carmi Corp in the lower bracket final and then losing again to Team BDS in the grand final. But for Liquid, second place was an amazing result for such a young team and it looked like all the players were just having a blast playing in the final. The third and final regional before the Spring Major, Team Liquid managed to get all the way to the upper bracket semi-final, where they would get knocked down by Moist Esports. They took the win over Evil Geniuses in the lower bracket, but then got eliminated by Team BDS in the next round and placed fourth. They also locked themselves in as third seed from EU for the upcoming Spring Major in London. Of course, we all know this Major as the one where Moist Esports made one of the craziest lower bracket runs of all time and where Team BDS won 0 games in the whole tournament. Now, Team Liquid didn't get that far into the tournament either, placing right in the middle of the pack. But before they got eliminated by the eventual winners of the tournament, this happened. Off we go, Chicago it is, sights it hard into the sideboard. JNF's can't read it, it's Liquid's ball. Here we go. Atomic, full boost and options this either side. He's got to get it over to him. Good pop over the first player. Chicago takes it away from 
Kowalski. You're going to receive Kroos, going to take a while. Oh, oh my. Massa, Team Liquid reverse sweep. G2 Esports. That's right. They reverse swept NA's number one seed while all being land rookies. Even though they didn't get that far into the tournament, this did prove that they were excellent players on land. Also, because Team Liquid was only able to participate in the last split of the season, they sadly missed out on the World Championship that would take place a little over a month later. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Europe to hit the field as we start the fall open of the 22-23 season of the Rocket League Championship Series. After making it through the top 16 qualifier, Team Liquid advanced into the very first EU regional of the new 2022-23 season. With their eyes set on the fall major at the end of the split, Team Liquid were determined to gather enough points to qualify. Unfortunately for them, they got eliminated by Moist Esports in the quarterfinals. This placed them 5th to 8th, and only got them 6 points. Of course, only 5 teams can qualify for the major, so Liquid had to get better results in the next two regionals. The Fall Cup also didn't go that well. Liquid lost to Quadrant, Evil Geniuses and Carmen Corp in the Swiss stage, which meant that they would only earn 4 points for a total of 10. After the Fall Cup concluded, Team Liquid was 7th on the leaderboard, with Tundra, Team BDS, G1 and Eogiri being their biggest competitors for one of the final spots at the Fall Major. But everything would come down to how the Fall Invitational would turn out. Team Liquid kicked things off by going 3-2 in Swiss, eliminating BDS in their 5th series. Tundra and Eogiri also got eliminated, which meant that G1 was their only big threat left in the tournament, but at this point still nothing was secured. They got by Team Vitality pretty easily to make it through to the next round, where they would have to face Evil Geniuses, who were also still in contention for the Major. G1 also beat Oxygen on the other side of the bracket, which meant that they now had the same number of points as Liquid. The team that will win their semi-finals would claim the last major spot, and if both teams will go through, they'd have to fight it out in the grand final. Luckily for Team Liquid, they beat Evil Geniuses pretty easily, dropping only one game. Now it would all come down to G1 versus Carmine Corp. Casey took advantage of it in the second half of the game. We've barely seen the blue side of the field. Maybe we get a little bit here. Atomic now just seen the gauntlet thrown down in front of them as G1 off the timeout. Bounce back. It's 2-1 now in the series. And G1. Zatira, always a threat whenever he's near the ball. Oh, what a play that is. Exotic. To deflect what would have been a venomous strike over the bar and wide. Now just few seconds left for Carmi Corp to work with. They're not going to get out. G1. I've impressed. I think this has been a great run for them. I think they've done well here. I think they've shown that they could really be a top five team in this region. They could be a major team at some point this season, but it's not going to be this split. It's not going to be um, against Carmi Corp in the semis who secure their third grand final in a row. The Kings of Europe. Team Liquid had done it. They went all the way to the grand final to secure their spot at the Fall Major. The only thing left to do now was to win it all and beat Carmine Corp in the grand final. This would be no easy feat however, since Carmine Corp had also made the finals in the previous two regionals. The first game of the grand final went Carmine Corp's way, and it really seemed like they were the dominant team. It looked like Carmine Corp would also take game 2, but then, with just 2 seconds left, Team Liquid scored the equalizer. The Chronic now in the midfield, beats out one, gets the reset with only 10 boosts, he can't get to that ball. Oski though can pass oh, it. Oh, he's done it! Atto can wait! Retribution for Liquid! And with a beautiful pass from Oski, Liquid tied up the series. Exotic knows how that play goes and he's read that book many times. Lovely touch there from Oski towards the Chronic. This could be the game oh! win! And it is! In game three, Liquid were simply the better team, showing great defense and offense. Strangely enough, for a lot of people in chat, for the 70-80% that were saying it was going to be KC, it is the series lead for Liquid as we go into game number four. Liquid had all the momentum, so it was no surprise that KC took a timeout. This timeout clearly worked, as Carmen Corp won the next game 3-1. Atho finds Oski. A chronic, can he just give us something to hope for for the last few seconds? No, he can't. Carmen Corp have suppressed Team Liquid's best effort. Team Liquid quickly took the series back into their own hands, however, by winning game four. 
Atho has to really make sure he stays behind this ball. He's reached by Batira, but the ball just, it just falls to another Team Liquid player. Almost helped on its way. And keep away. To the KC net, doing well. Our Team Liquid, they That's are it. doing incredibly. Now, Team Liquid were on match point. Only one more win was needed. And like usual, Carmen Corp scored first. Can he rectify the error? I'm sure he'll find a way. This could be a chance, oh! and there it is. Halfway through the game, Liquid scored one of their own goals for the equalizer. Demo? Team Liquid have a chance, there's a Martin! Oh! <laughs> but of course, this tense game had to go into overtime. Team Liquid was only one goal away from winning their first regional ever. And then, 2 minutes and 26 seconds into overtime. Exotic has to avoid Oski there, he did just about enough. Atto up against Batira, he knows oh! past him! Atto gets it into the top right corner! Team Liquid for the first time in the Orgs history take a regional victory and these three players will be EU second seed at the Rotterdam Major. It finally happened. Team Liquid scored and won the regional. The first RCS tournament win in the Orgs history. The first win for all the players on Team Liquid. The first with many more to come. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.